This uh, is a no ship Thomas Jefferson, uh, 208 feet long, crew of 36. The, the business of trying to detect submerged oil is, is not a settled science. There's, you know, there, there, are, there isn't a, a great body of experience with how to do this because it's a really very unusual circumstance. We've invited some some visiting scientists from, you know, in other in other disciplines to help us yeah. out because uh, it's a little, it's a different sort of a project for us. We have we have some idea about how our different sensors uh, may may react to submerged oil in the forms that we think it might take. The first objective is to is to test our gear against areas where we expect there to be higher concentrations of submerged oil. Once we've established a methodology and understand what sort of a signal we could expect in our various instruments from submerged oil, uh, we could use that capability to to detect and monitor any any plumes of submerged oil that we might find. All it is is you send out sound mm -hmm. and then you listen. Mm -hmm. And you know from the amount of time mm -hmm. that's elapsed how far it is. If you know the speed of sound in water, which is fairly constant. And then all of these little marks are things in the water. It turns out that we actually can see something with the acoustics. Mm -hmm. We have this ability then to cover a large area and really start mapping the distribution of whatever we're seeing. Mm -hmm. A subtle target in the in the water column, is, and one we don't understand at all. What's, what is the nature of the submerged oil, mm -hmm. um, if there is submerged oil? And, right. and we just don't understand its properties yet. The volume of oil that we're looking for is is actually quite minuscule in the scale of the Gulf of Mexico.